In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, today we will reflect upon a topic that has been a stumbling block for many throughout the ages, the sin of pride. Pride is a deceptive and insidious sin that creeps into our hearts, often unnoticed, leading us away from the path of righteousness and humility that our Lord Jesus Christ exemplified for us. The roots of pride are found in the story of Satan or the devil, who due to his beauty and wisdom, became enamored with himself and desired to exalt his throne above that of God. Isaiah 14, 12, 15, NKJV. The consequences were severe. He was cast out of heaven, a powerful reminder that pride has no place in the presence of the Almighty. Let us first turn to the Word of God, the source of all wisdom and truth, to gain insights into the nature of pride. Proverbs 16, 18, NKJV warns us, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This profound verse emphasizes the perilous consequences of pride, a warning that echoes through the corridors of time to reach our ears today. What is pride? Pride is not merely a puffing up of the chest or boasting about our accomplishments. It is a deep-seated attitude that exalts self above God and others. It is the belief that we are better, more deserving, or more important than those around us. Pride blinds us to our own faults and leads us to judge others with a critical spirit. As we examine our lives, let's be honest and ask ourselves, have we allowed the seeds of pride to take root in our hearts? Are we quick to judge others, considering ourselves superior? Do we find it difficult to admit when we are wrong or need help? The antidote to pride is found in the virtue of humility. James 4, 6, NKJV declares, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humility is not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less. It recognizes that every good and perfect gift comes from above. James 1, 17, NKJV and any abilities or achievements we possess are gifts from a gracious God. Our ultimate example of humility is our Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 258 NKJV paints a beautiful picture of his humility, stating, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Jesus, the Son of God, laid aside his glory and took on the form of a servant, obedient even unto death. His humility not only serves as an example, but also opens the door to redemption for all who acknowledge their need for a Savior. In our daily lives, let us cultivate humility by acknowledging our dependence on God, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every person, embracing a servant's heart, seeking to serve others selflessly, being quick to forgive and slow to take offense. As we humble ourselves before the Lord, He promises to exalt us in due time. It's Peter 5, 6 and KJV. The journey towards humility is not an easy one, but it is a path that leads to life, reconciliation, and a restored relationship with our Creator. In conclusion, let us heed the words of Scripture and guard against the sin of pride. May the Holy Spirit work in our hearts, transforming us into humble vessels ready to be used for God's glory. May we, like our Lord Jesus, embrace the beauty of humility knowing that true greatness is found in serving others and glorifying our Heavenly Father. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all.